Hi, and welcome to a new mini tutorial series on Uma 2 focusing on the new dynamic character system that is currently on the GitHub 53 branch. I believe that's going to be 2.1 of Uma once it's released on the Asset Store. Can't wait for that. Now go over to the GitHub repository. The link is in the description below. Click on branches and the one we want is Unity 53. Once we're in branch 53, you can click clone or download and download it to your computer. Now we're in Unity and I also imported the characters, the environment and the cameras assets from the standard assets because we're going to use those later on. I just wanted to get them now to get them out of the way. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to find the Uma DCS. It's this file here and we're going to drag it into our scene. Now, anyone who's played with Uma before, you'd remember these things, dynamic race library, slot, overlay, and so on and so forth. But with Uma DCS, we don't need to play with these just yet. And now let's create an empty game object, and I'm going to call this one Uma Mail. And on our Uma Mail, let's add the dynamic character avatar and you can see immediately this guy here has just appeared. If I turn off show placeholder, you see it disappears. I can change the model to be a female placeholder or a male placeholder. It makes it life so much easier when you have all of these game objects in your scene because some of you who know and those who don't, Uma doesn't exist on your editor, he only gets created at one time. So this gives us a good indication of where he'd be and in this tutorial we'll be doing a human male which is why we call him Uma male active race don't get too confused with the DCS we're just gonna click human male believe it or not that's all you really need now I know you don't believe me so let's grab this camera let's align it with the view click play and there's Uma He's got his pants on, he's modest, he's covered, and he looks pretty good. If that's all you wanted, you can stop the video now. But let's do a couple of things more. Let's add in here the default animation controller, and let's find locomotion. When I click play, you'll see it doesn't look so weird anymore. Looks more natural, bobbing his head around, looking fantastic. Now I'm going to create a, another empty game object. I'm going to call this one world and inside world. Let's set that to be 000. zero, zero. And inside my world, I'm going to create a terrain. And I'm going to position this to fit minus 250, minus 250 just so I've got my world on a zero and my man is in the middle of the terrain and why is our Uma flying in the air let's position him down let's put him in the zero now our Uma looks pretty good standing around uh, the, all this white space is annoying me let's quickly go and add texture let's put grass hill or yeah grass hill and let's change that to be now in our Uma mail let's change this default animation to be first person third person animation controller let's add the component for the third person controller Let's add user control. Let's click on the animator and let's put this one to the third person animation controller. Let's change always animate to be call update transforms and let's change capsule collider. Let's add here material. Just copying over what we had from Ethan. If anyone has played with Ethan before, 
this to be 3, 1.6 is a bit high, and 0.8, get it out of the ground, otherwise we'll be trying to jump up into the air, and next click play, and I've done anything, and here's our Uma running around with a character controller on him, he's looking pretty good, he's got his nipples out, his abs, he's been working out of the gym, he's got no hair, he's got no shoes, actually he's got no eyebrows, but we'll sort all that out in the next video, so I want to say a really big thank you to everyone at the Uma community, especially to Secret Anorak, Jamie, Kanamis, well the list too long to name everyone, you're fantastic. So until next time, if you like it, click it. If you like this video and you want to see other tutorials, have a look at my Ultimate Survival series that's on YouTube where you learn to make your own survival game. It's a lot of fun, it requires a kit that you can get off the asset store, but it's probably the best fun I've had smashing rocks and chopping down those trees in a long time. And don't forget, that big red subscribe button is just waiting for you to click. Come on, it's in the corner. It's big, it's red. Click it. Click it.